I have an issue. And that issue is because I am not getting a single ounce of respect in my own world. Because I have these nice little eggs here on both sides that I thought would, you know, help spruce up the little spawn area, make it look nice. And I specifically put signs here that say, do not punch. But without fail, every time that I let somebody join the world, they punch the egg. And, and you know, maybe not every one of them, but if I let on two, I'm telling you, an egg's getting punched. And, you know... <sighs> Beforehand, I was really lenient about it, and I was like, you know, it's okay, I'll just find the egg and I'll move it. But I'm sick and tired of that. So what we're going to do today is come up with a form of punishment. Now you may be wondering to yourself, Tadpole, what kind of punishment are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about the shame hut. Uh, <laughs> it's just it's just a little building that I made uh, that, you know, is, is not completely finished. I just wanted to get the idea of. But this is a hut I'm going to put within the walls of spawn so that you know if you punch the egg you're not making it out of spawn you get sent to this little shame hut and i didn't put it inside but within the shame hut is going to be the pit of shame now what is the pit of shame you might ask well the way this is going to work is we're going to have blocks right up here at the top and and let's say this is you walking in to the pit of shame now, obviously, the redstone would be up here, not down there, but, you know, give me a break on that one. Uh, you, you know, you would walk in, and either I would have some sort of pressure plate, or I'm going to put a piston in. And bam, the bot- I tried fixing it, and I think I just made things worse. Th this, this isn't what matters. What matters is we are putting in the shame hut. I can figure out the redstone later. Let's put this into survival. So for the shame hut, I figure, you know, if you're going to go around punching eggs, you don't even deserve to get out of my little, uh, we'll call it a spawn encampment. So if, if you decide you're going to punch the egg, you're getting put right here. So yeah, I hope this is big enough for the design I made. I didn't actually count it out, but yeah, let's try making this. And here we have the shame hut. Now, I did a little bit after I finished that time lapse. I put in the doors here, and you know it's got to be iron doors because there is no way we're just gonna we're just gonna let them in and out real easy like that. So if you're caught, you know, punching the egg, you get brought over here for uh, processing. So you know you'll you'll talk to somebody, they'll tell you what's up, and then uh, inevitably you'll have to be put in the holding cell, which I need to change the name for that because I think that's a little bit too obvious. But, you know, you, you come in here, you'll sit in here, you'll notice it's perfectly two by two. And then uh, either right here or somewhere over here, we're going to have a little button that, you know, once they get in there, you push the button and the floor just falls out and they go into the pit. So, yeah, I just want to show off the progress we have right here. Now I'm going to have to start digging the pit and figure out the redstone. Okay, so I had two attempts at trying to make this actually work. And for whatever reason, both times... I could get it to like pull it back, but I couldn't get the blocks on top of it to go back. So I caved, I looked up a design here, and you know what, it it works like perfectly, except I don't like how the redstone is all exposed here, but you know what, we, we don't really have control of that. You, you don't think of what's exposed when you're trying to make the pit a shame. So yeah, this is what this looks like. Never would have gotten this without looking up a tutorial. So yeah, let's put this into our survival world. So as with all good builds, I uh, completely forgot to count how much of everything I would need. So we're just going to hope 12 does the trick. 12 sticky pistons. I, I don't actually remember. Okay, so with a few more pieces, that should be what we're looking for. If we do that. Oh, perfect. Okay, so let's go up here and double check that everything works. Okay, so if I open this up. Com completely fine nothing in here and then if i come over here i flip the lever oh perfect that is exactly what we want okay still don't know how i feel about all this exposed redstone but i don't know that there's going to be a way to cover that up so i'll just get some sandstone and cover up what i can Ooh, i like this yeah if i put the slabs here you can't jump up 
Okay, let me go make some more slabs and I'll do that. Okay, you can see more than I would like you to be able to, but that's... We, we got the bulk of it. So now what I want to do is dig down just a little bit. Actually, we'll go down one more. And then we're just going to make this into an actual pit. Okay, I think this is this is pretty suitable for a pit of shame. But uh, I forgot to figure out a way to get out. So I'm kind of just stuck down here for the time being. But it makes me think maybe we should come up with a way out. I'm thinking for a way out, what we'll do is just make a tunnel going out this way. And then I'll go back to the surface and figure out a spot up there that I want this to link up with. Okay, so I'm thinking that for this, I'm not even going to try and be creative. I'm going to do the exact same style of door that I did for the bank in Tadshire, where I'll have a block... I don't know, maybe right here or something, where you gotta break it, and then I'll put a piston right over there. Okay, so now if I pull that lever... Oh, perfect! Okay. It conceals it- it conceals it beautifully. So let's put in... Do I have any stone? I do have stone. How did I miss that so much? So... Beautiful! Okay. And once again, just dirt. <laughs> just- just dirt. Okay, so let's let's get the current look of this. Uh, you, you punch the egg, you come in here, yada 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 over there. You get thrown on in, and then... Bam, that bad boy just opens up. You fall into the pit, and this is the pit. And unless you know the secret hiding spot, you are stuck. Ooh, I also want to make it to where you could open it from back here. So let's put in like a... Would a trap door get opened up? Actually, you know what? We, we don't have to close it off. We can just leave it like that. Because, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're able to see it anyway. So, we'll just we'll just cover that up so that when you walk through, you can still close it. I also made this connect up to a cave right here. I don't know if, if I should do something with this, or if I should just make it to where you're kind of stuck in this labyrinth, and you can get out if you want to. Okay, so I have made the executive decision that I will do something with it. I don't think I actually want to make it, like, a livable place. But I want it to be somewhere that, you know, if, if you're running through, you don't feel like you're trapped in an actual labyrinth. So I added a little stairway over here, but that's about all I've done so far. So we're going to spruce up the place, and I'll show you that once I'm done. Okay, so I think this is about done for it. I didn't want to make it, like, an actual livable place. I just sort of wanted this to be, you know, oh, I left some cobblestone there. I wanted this to be more of, like, you know, just just a cave. It's a little fancier than a cave, so, you know, I lit it up and made it to where you can walk around. Maybe if someone gets stuck in the pit or something, they could come back down here and work on it. I just, I don't know, <laughs> it's, it's the pit of shame. I'm not trying to make it all fancy or make it really nice for him. So, yeah, I think this serves its purpose. So what I want to do now for this is, uh, since it's pretty much all good and complete, I want to get in, get someone in here, and let's do a trial run of it. John, have, have I informed you why I have brought you to spawn? Uh, no, they have not. Okay, so John, here at spawn, we have, we have a pretty, oh, back pretty... muscles. You do have back muscles. John... Here at Spawn, we, we have a time-honored tradition where people will yep. join my world. And can you can you read this sign out? Do not punch! That's that's right. That's right. Yes. And uh, if you've been here for any of my live streams, what do people always do anyway? Uh, they, they punch it like that, but on the egg. Okay. Okay. Now, John, for the sake of this video, as much as it pains me to do this, I'm, I'm going to need yeah. you to break that rule. I need you to pretend to be one of those people and give that a, a good punch. Oh, I'm, I'm actually going to do it. All right. Ow. You son oh, of a I... You son of a don't Come with it, me. Come with me. It. Follow me. You you have violated I, the, the law. Egg is no. Right here. The egg no, no, is no. Right, no, no, no. No, no, no. Come with me. I... Come with me. You have violated the law. You have violated the law. I cannot believe this. Come with me. All right. Because we have a dirty, no good law violator, you are being sent to the shame hut for your crimes against humanity. First things first, uh, yeah, we're gonna go through processing. What are you here for? You don't, you don't come back here. You oh, don't come back here. Oh, oh, you said we're gonna go through processing. <laughs> oh no. I saw what? Why sign. are you here? 
I uh, touched the egg. I've heard okay. enough. Okay. Oh come in, come right. in well, here. You went out. You all went out. You still went. You're going to the holding cell. S stay. You're, you're. Psych. Got gotcha. Get in the holding cell. <laughs> you are going to the pit of shame, you dirty oh egg puncher. Oh, my lord. Iron. Iron. Oh, my. Oh. John, what um, do you think of the pit of shame? I mean, nice. It's clean. Do you feel well, very shameful for what you have done? Looking at this block, I do. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean. Specifically, that gravel block makes me yeah, feel Yeah, I mean, it's the only immense it's shame. All right. So, John, no, no, no. That's not how you get out. We have a very elaborate system of getting out. You break that, you pull the lever. Wow. Cha-ching. And, Cha and then if you want to close it, you just come around this way. But you know what? If other people, if other people go in in the pit of shame, they're not getting rights. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And so if if I allow you to to exit, you will come up this way, and you will you will continue walking this way, and boom, you are out to free ground, outside Where of the walls. Where is the prison? Who? Why? Why? Why don't they go to prison? Well, that's the thing. If I allow them out, they get to go this way. If I don't, we're taking them straight to prison. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, do you feel very, very renewed? Do you feel... I feel like a brand new person. Yeah, you look like one, too. Thank you. Yeah, I don't have my leather boots. Here, I have um, I have leather for you. Well, John, I I, I think the pit of shame is a success. Yeah. I, yeah People will now feel shame down. if they ever decide Ow. to punch my egg again. Well, there we have it, boys. We have finished the shame hut as well as... The pit of shame, and I'm I'm very happy with how this looks, and this is gonna do a great job of keeping all them them dirty doers stuck in here. So if you like the video, I would really appreciate it if you left a like, and if you're new here, I would love it if you subscribe. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Choose Kinder.